How does your nose tell the difference between a rose and a rotten egg? Surprisingly, some scientists think the answer might lie not just in chemistry but in quantum tunneling. This idea, known as the tunneling in smell perception hypothesis, suggests that our sense of smell is not solely based on the shape of odor molecules, as the traditional lock and key theory says, but also on the vibrational frequencies of their chemical bond. In this model, electrons in our olfactory receptors tunnel through these molecules, a purely quantum phenomenon, and detect their unique vibrations, allowing us to distinguish between seemingly similar shapes. But what is quantum tunneling and why does it matter for smell? In classical physics, a particle cannot pass through a barrier unless it has enough energy, but quantum mechanics allows tiny particles like electrons to tunnel through barriers they shouldn't be able to cross. In your nose, this could mean that when a molecule binds to a receptor, the electron tunnels across if the energy matches the molecule's vibrational frequency analogy. It's like hearing a bell, not because of its shape, but because of how it rings. And your ear can pick up that ring by teleporting through the bell. If true, this quantum theory of smell would revolutionize our understanding of sensory biology and show that quantum mechanics operates not just in labs, but in every breath you take. How can our noses distinguish thousands of distinct odors, not just by shape-based lock and key interactions, but potentially by sensing the tiny quantum leaps of electrons or protons through odorant molecules. The idea known as the vibrational or quantum tunneling theory of olfacto posits that when an odorant binds to its receptor, electrons in the receptor protein tunnel across the molecule and the rate of that tunneling depends on the vibrational frequency of the odorant's chemical bonds. In effect, receptors would read a molecule's unique vibration spectrum rather than merely its shape, opening a new paradigm for how smell perception might exploit quantum effects. So far, so good. Until we probe the biochemical reality at the receptor site. In classical models, odorant molecules fit into receptors much like a key in a lock and binding strength drives the neural signal. The tunneling hypothesis adds a second layer. Once bound, an electron transfer event occurs only if the energy gap matches an odorant's vibrational mode. Yet within the warm, wet, and noisy environment of the nasal epithelium, maintaining coherent tunneling pathways over the necessary distance and time appears daunting. Thermal fluctuations, collisions with water molecules, and rapid conformational changes in the receptor protein can all disrupt the delicate quantum states required for selective tunneling. At its core, the theory hinges on precise energy matching. For an electron to tunnel across the odorant, the receptor's donor and acceptor sites must be spaced just right, and the odorant's vibrational modes must align with the barrier height and width. Laboratory studies with synthetic receptors and model compounds have shown tunneling-like currents under cryogenic or highly controlled conditions. But replicating those measurements in living cells where receptor odorant complexes last mere microseconds remains an experimental hurdle. Without direct observation of tunneling events in situ, the case relies on indirect evidence, such as the ability of human subjects to distinguish deuterated heavier versus non-deuterated odorants, a difference the shape-based model cannot explain. Yet, even if we grant that tunneling can occur, a further challenge emerges. How do downstream neural circuits interpret those quantum signals? The olfactory bulb receives inputs from thousands of receptor types and must encode complex mixtures rapidly, translating minute differences in tunneling rates into robust action potential patterns demands amplification mechanisms that preserve quantum-directed specificity without drowning it in biochemical noise. It is unclear whether known transduction pathways can maintain the signal fidelity needed to exploit quantum vibrational cues. At even finer scales, stochastic variations in receptor expression, local pH, and ion concentrations introduce heterogeneity across olfactory neurons. A single receptor's tunneling probability may fluctuate unpredictably, yet humans exhibit remarkably consistent odor discrimination across repeated exposures. Reconciling this reliability with a mechanism so sensitive to environmental perturbations 
requires additional layers of buffering, perhaps through population coding across many receptors or dynamic receptor clustering that have yet to be fully elucidated. In essence, the tunneling and smell perception paradox confronts us with a choice. Embrace a radical quantum-based mechanism that could revolutionize our understanding of sensory biology or adhere to the more intuitive shape and binding model that has long dominated olfactory science. Much like the hysteresis paradox or electromagnetically induced transparency, this phenomenon sits at the intersection of classical and quantum realms, inviting us to explore whether life has indeed found a way to harness the oddities of quantum mechanics for the simple, everyday act of smelling a rose. The tunneling in smell perception paradox suggests that our noses may detect odorant molecules not merely by their shape, but by their vibrational spectra via quantum tunneling. Unlike the classical lock and key model, this hypothesis posits that an electron in the olfactory receptor protein tunnels inelastically, exchanging energy with a bound odorance vibrational mode. This process would allow receptors to distinguish isotopomers, molecules identical in shape but different in atomic mass, solely by their vibrational frequencies. It challenges the assumption that molecular geometry alone governs scent recognition. Human testers report that deuterated and non-deuterated versions of the same molecule smell distinctly different despite having identical shapes. It is like identifying a piano string's pitch not by its length or thickness, but by hearing its unique overtone when plucked. The traditional shape-based theory of olfaction holds that odorant molecules fit into receptors like a key in a lock, triggering a neural response. The quantum vibrational theory argues that receptors instead sense the specific vibrational energy levels of molecules through electron tunneling events. While the shape model struggles to explain why chemically similar isotopomers smell different, the vibrational model accounts for these discrepancies by linking scent to quantum interaction. This contrast highlights the potential role of non-classical physics in a biological sense organ. Cyclopentadecanone and its sulfur-substituted analog produce different odors even though they share the same carbon backbone shape. It is like preferring a song version based on its unique bass vibrations rather than its melody alone. Hmm. At the molecular level, olfactory receptors are G-protein-coupled proteins embedded in the nasal epithelium that bind odorant molecules in a small flexible cavity. In the quantum model, binding aligns an electron donor and acceptor site, creating a tunneling junction where an electron can hop only if it exchanges energy matching a molecular vibration. This inelastic electron transfer activates the receptor, initiating a signal cascade that the brain interprets as a specific smell. Thus, the receptor functions as both a binding site and a quantum detector of vibrational energy. Spectroscopic studies show that changing an odorant's vibrational frequency alters receptor activation even when binding affinity remains constant. It is like a sensor that only rings an alarm when it detects a specific drumbeat frequency rather than any physical impact. Inelastic electron tunneling occurs when an electron traverses a barrier by borrowing energy from or depositing energy into a vibrational mode of the barrier molecule. This process requires the energy quantum of the vibration to match the electron's energy loss or gain, creating a highly selective detection mechanism. Within the receptor, the odorant's vibrational spectrum thus gates electron flow, making the protein transparent only to electrons that satisfy that resonance. Such resonance-mediated tunneling provides the physical basis for vibration-based odor discrimination. Experiments using scanning tunneling microscopes show that molecules exhibit conductance peaks at voltages corresponding to their vibrational frequencies. It is like a toll gate that opens only for cars whose license plates emit a particular radio frequency. The precise geometry and amino acid composition of the olfactory receptor binding pocket tune the distance and energy landscape for tunneling, 
determining which vibrational modes are detectable. Small changes in pocket width or electronic coupling can shift the resonance condition, altering which frequencies trigger a response. This structural tuning explains why different receptors specialize in distinct odor profiles despite similar overall folds. Consequently, the combination of receptor architecture and odorant vibration creates a multi-dimensional scent code. Mutations in the binding site of certain receptors abolish sensitivity to specific odor classes without affecting binding affinity. It is like adjusting the string tension on a guitar to ensure only certain harmonics produce a loud note. Although quantum tunneling is inherently sensitive to environmental decoherence, olfactory receptors operate in warm, aqueous conditions by leveraging strong electronic coupling and vibrational lifetimes. Non-local tunneling effects allow the electron to sense the odorant vibration across a few nanometers without requiring phase coherence over the entire protein. Temperature fluctuations broaden the tunneling resonance window but do not eliminate the selectivity, making the system robust under physiological conditions. Thus, the paradox of quantum effects persisting in noisy biological environments is resolved by localizing interactions at the receptor's active site. Theoretical models show that moderate thermal noise can enhance rather than destroy the sensitivity of inelastic tunneling detectors. It is like a radio tuned to a strong station that remains clear even in a storm because the signal-to-noise ratio is high. If quantum tunneling underlies smell, then neural representations of odor must encode vibrational information, suggesting new models for sensory coding in the brain. Artificial olfaction devices, electronic noses, could adopt inelastic tunneling sensors to achieve human-like discrimination of complex odorants. Such bio-inspired sensors would surpass current metal oxide arrays by leveraging resonance-based selectivity. This quantum approach could revolutionize applications from environmental monitoring to medical diagnostics. Prototype tunneling junction sensors have demonstrated the ability to distinguish closely related fragrance molecules with high fidelity. It is like building a fingerprint scanner that reads molecular vibrations instead of ridges, unlocking a new dimension of detection, directly observing inelastic tunneling within membrane proteins remains technically daunting due to their nanoscopic size and complex environment. Computational models must integrate quantum chemistry, protein dynamics, and membrane electrostatics, which poses significant simulation challenges. Experimental tests require designing mutants or synthetic receptors with predictable tunneling properties and correlating them with behavioral assay. Achieving definitive proof of quantum smell demands interdisciplinary advances in spectroscopy, molecular biology, and quantum physics. Attempts to measure tunneling currents in reconstituted olfactory receptors have so far been inconclusive due to unstable membrane insertion. It is like trying to eavesdrop on a whisper inside a crowded room without disrupting the speaker. Advances in ultra-fast spectroscopy and single-molecule electronics may soon capture real-time inelastic tunneling events in receptor proteins. Integrating quantum simulators with cryogenic electron microscopy could reveal structural snapshots of tunneling junctions could. Understanding quantum smell could inspire new paradigms for sensory augmentation and prosthetics that restore olfaction via electronic interfaces. Ultimately, unraveling this paradox may extend quantum biology's reach and reshape our view of the boundaries between physics and life. Proposed experiments using engineered nanopores aim to correlate tunneling signals with olfactory neuron firing patterns. It is like equipping a camera to record the flicker of a single photon, revealing hidden processes that define our sensory world.